Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve these nice functional equations? We are given f of x all squared plus f of x equals 25x squared plus 10x over 4. And we want to find f of x here. Let's try and solve this quickly. When we consider the solution from here, we have the function f of x. Suppose I let f of x in this to be equals, let's choose a linear function as ax plus b. So by letting f of x only to be ax plus b, it means that for f of x squared, substituting it back into the given equations, we are going to have ax squared We have ax plus b raised to the power of 2 plus ax plus b equals 25x squared plus 10x divided by 4. So having this, Let's expand ax plus b all squared. So by expanding, expanding this one, we are going to have a squared x squared plus. So from this as well, we have 2abx plus b squared. So the result of this expansion, it gives us this. Then we have plus ax plus b equals 25 x squared plus 10 x divided by 4. So we proceed by combining ax and 2 abx because they have x in common. So we write this as a squared x squared plus Factoring out x from here, in the bracket, we have 2ab plus a. So then we have b squared plus b. This equals 25x squared plus 10x divided by 4. So getting here, let's try and compare this. Here we have x squared, and this is also x squared. But this x squared, which is 25x squared, is over 4, where we want to combine it together. So by combining, we have a squared, x squared. This will be equal to 25x squared divided by 4 at this side. And uh, also, we combine this one as well, which is x into bracket of 2ab plus a. This will be equals 10x divided by 4. And why the last one we are going to compare? A is b squared plus b. It doesn't have anything here, but we can just say b squared plus b this equals zero here are the three cases of our comparisons let's try and find a and b from this for the first one let's say we cancel x squared and x squared we are left with a squared equals 25 divided by 4 and here if you cancel x we cancel x we are left with 2ab plus a equals 10 divided by then divided by 4. But let's start with the first one. For the first one, we are going to have a squared equals 25 divided by 4. And by taking the square root of both sides, we have this a, which is equals plus or minus 5 divided by 2. This is for the value of a. And to get b, we have two possibilities. 
we can get b from here or we can also get b from this so to get b from here we have to keep substituting the value of a at plus 5 over 2 and the value of a at minus 5 over 2 then we get the value of b but to make it easy let's consider the last one here so by considering the last one we have b square plus b this equals 0 we have to get two values of b by factorizing so by factorizing we have b squared by taking out b then we have b plus 1 this equals 0 so b plus 1 equals to 0 so this shows that our b here will be equals 0 and b will be equals minus 1 so b equals 0 b equals minus 1 we cannot know the value of a equals 5 over 2 for us to get b and the other one which is minus 5 over 2 to get negative so let's try and uh, we consider substituting this a into this expression to know which one is positive and uh, which one is zero which one is zero and which one is negative one when we go for at a equals 5 divided by 2 substituting it here here becomes 2 into bracket of 5 over 2 multiplied by b then plus 5 over 2 equals 10 over over 4 so here 2 cancels 2 and 5 times b that gives us 5b plus here we have 5 over 2 but we can just consider this as 10 divided by 4 this equals 10 over 4 so 10 over 4 cancel 10 over 4 here and we have 5b this equals 0 if 5b equals to 0 definitely our b here equals 0 so to cut the story short when b equals to 0 it means that our a will be 5 over 2 and otherwise because we have gotten the value of 0 before and the minus 1 so which shows that at b equals negative 1 this is the result we got from when we substitute a which is minus 5 over 2 so it makes sense now after getting all this let's now recall back from the function that we let so when we recall that our f of x equals a x plus b so this is where we come from so for the first one, if b equals 0, a will be equals 5 over 2. At a equals to 0, at b equals 0, a is 5 over 2. Substitute it here. We then have f of x equals a is 5 over 2x, then plus 0. So plus 0 is still gone. So a is the first uh, answer for f of x. And for the other part as well if we have f of x equals ax plus b at b equals minus 1 a equals minus 5 over 2 we are going to have it as minus 5x over 2 minus 1 so this is the other solution that satisfies this this is how we solve this problem and uh, i'm considering this as the first method of solving this so in the, in the next video I'm going to do, I will present another method. I'm going to solve this in three different methods, but because of time, uh, let's meet in the next video. And here is the graph that the verification of this solution from the world frame alpha. So see you in the next video. And please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Bye-bye.